All right, we're at uh, West Center Tech today, and we're going to uh, do a quick video on thread repair. We have a, a piece of all thread here that's got damaged up thread on it. So we're going to use our snap-on kit here, part number RTD48. This kit uh, has a, it's a restoration kit. It's not for creating threads. It's for repairing them. The big thing we're going to focus here is on thread files. So if you'll bear with us, do a little switch around. Thank you, Brock. We're going we're gonna to take a look here at this bolt, and as we went to use this tool this morning, what we found out was, as we tried to thread this on, you're going to see here, in a thing, it should be able to just go on by hand and keep going, but we get here, and it stops. So we know something is wrong in this area, and there's a red sharpie in that top toolbox. Grab that. That might help us identify. Can anybody see the problem already? Okay, so there's that one thread. Okay, I'll try and pull it up to the camera first here. That's quite a bit wider if you look at the, the rest of them here. So we can see it's real shiny right there. I'm going to go ahead and just mark that. Okay, versus like the one next to it here. Can you see how thin the red mark is? compared to the other one. Let's see if we can't get that to focus. There we go, beautiful, huh? So we got a couple of threads in here that are significantly wider and that bolt just doesn't want to roll around those. So for whatever reason, maybe it got dropped, uh, had a bunch of uh, force used on it. We use this to pull uh, bearings into, uh, into holes and wheels and engine cases and so on. So it, it's boogered up and we need to go ahead and fix it. Our kit here that I showed before doesn't have a big enough die to be able to go around this. So one of the other tools that we have uh, access to is what's called a thread, uh, thread pitch restore, if you will. And let's get some light on here maybe. Come over here. See if we can't get this to show a little better. Uh, we're going to grab the standard one here. And you start to see <clears throat> numbers on here. Back up a little maybe. 13 and 14. Okay, 11 and 12. What do those numbers represent? Thread pitch. Thread pitch, so standard thread pitch. So I'll grab the metric one here real quick and let's see if this looks familiar. What do we see now? Get the light in there. 0 0.75, 1 1.0, 1 1.5, 1.25. Does that ring a bell from when we did thread pitch? Okay, the other thing that we have with this kit is we have a nice little handle once we determine which one we want to use that we can slide on. I'm going to go ahead and back the video back up here and show you here. Will you hold that on that side for me? What I want you to notice here is that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight different pitches on this one tool. So once we identify the pitch that we want, then we can put the handle on the opposite side and then go ahead and use it. And you'll see how we're going to do that right now. So I've got my bolt here, and I have to determine what the pitch actually is. And we'll use a thread pitch gauge to do that. And this is another example here. Can you hold this bolt for me? What we have is we're going to put lay this across some good threads. We can't do this on bad threads, and we're going to see until it fits with no gap in between the teeth. What I always like to do, so we have an 11. I'm going to go ahead and use the wrong one to show that you could misgauge this pretty easy. Let's go ahead and lift this up to the camera a little closer. Let's see if we can't refocus this. There we go. Okay, so notice here that there's some, there's some space in between there and how it kind of rocks. It would be very easy to use the wrong one and then we'd grab the wrong die and then, or yeah, the wrong die and then we'd have problems. So look at this right one. Do you see how it bottoms all the way out? And it's perfect. So number 11 is what we need. So then we're going to go and we're going to find on here our number 11. I got lucky. Now what I want you to do, go ahead and move that out. Tell me if I'm in the camera here. Uh, go, ahead and, go ahead and hit the focus. I hate having to do all this editing. This pisses me off. So this was my number 11. Okay, what I want to do is go ahead and put the handle 
on the opposite side and then what I do is I'm going to take my finger on top here and I'm going to switch this into a position like this so that I don't end up with the wrong because what this is is this is like a draw file I'll do a close-up of this when I go to actually do it but I'm going to take and go across the threads filing them back into position do you see how easy it'd be to accidentally move off of the intended thread pitch okay so once you see that application I'll move back here now I marked those with the markers so it's going to be easier for me to go ahead and draw file those and know that I'm on the right threads. I've only got this one area that's a problem. So what I do is I like to test myself by going into a good area. And do you see how I'm wiggling this back and forth? Yes. So what I do is I just do basically what I think of as a practice run and it's smooth and it's even. Then I just move over to that first bad thread. So when I'm here, okay, I'm good. I'm gonna move over. This is kind of time consuming. And I'm just going to keep, do you see how the paint's wearing off? Yeah. Go ahead and try it here. I've gotten about a half thread further, but I'm still catching. So I'm going to just take and... It's pretty dang consistent though, isn't it? Maybe not perfect right there, but I'd say it's pretty dang consistent and it functions well. Now we can put that tool back into service and use it well for the next time. But that's how you do a thread repair.